Hello friends, once again I welcome you to my channel and in my previous, as my, in my previous videos I was discussing numericals, in this video also I will be discussing numericals on addressing mode. Here today I will be starting with one numerical from gate 2021. So see the question is, uh, the data are given like this, R1, R2, R3 are my general purpose registers and memory X, that means content of memory location X, this is the address. And whatever is the content that we will mean through this notation. So see, they have given us this set of data. These instructions are given. And what is the meaning of each operation is given. And what is the size of each instruction is given. So there must be some use of this size. We will see. What is given? Assume that the content of the memory location 5000 is 10. And the contents of uh, the register R3 is what? 3000. These two data are given, 5000 is holding 10, R3 is holding 3000. Content of each of the memory locations from 3000 to 3010 is 50, right? Total how many locations? 3000 to 3010? 3000 to 3010, everyone will be holding 50. This instruction sequence starts from the memory location 1000. So starting address is 1000. All the numbers are given in decimal format and the machine is byte addressable. So what we are supposed to do? After the execution of the program, that means complete program is executed. The content of the memory location 3010, we need to find out. Right? So we'll see. Next slide. So whatever data they have given that I have written here. See, register R3 is holding value 3000. And this 3000 to 3010 is holding what? 50, 50, 50, all 50. And 5000 is holding value 10, right? So see, and the level, uh, I have just written mention level means address of the instructions. Instructions are just like this. So see, move R1 comma within bracket 5000. Meaning of this instruction is that content of memory location 5000, content of MX, X is 5000 here. So content of this location is moved to R1, right? So, and the size of this instruction is 4. So what I will do basically initially before doing the operations, see, it is given that our program starts in memory location 1000. So address of the first instruction will be what? 1000, that is given. Next is the size of this instruction is what? 4 bytes, it is 4 bytes. So what will be the address of next instruction? Previous instruction length plus the length of previous instruction. That is 4. So it will be 1004. Done. Next will be 1004 plus 4. This 4, right? This is the use of this one. It is 1008. 1008 plus previous instruction. So this is 1008. So for this instruction, 1008 plus 2. It is 1010. 1010 plus 4, 14. 14 plus 2, 16. 16 plus 2, 18. 18 plus 2, 20. So these are my addresses. Simply we have done it because we have to use it, right? So see where we have to use it. I'll show you. Move R1 comma bracket 5000. So R1 is holding the content of memory location 5000. That is given as 10. So value of R1 will be what? The value of R1 will be 10. Done. Then next is move R2 comma whatever is the content of R3, that is 50. R3 is holding what? R3 is holding 3000. 3000 is holding value what? 50. So R3's content will be what? 50. You can see that. The next is what they are asking us as to, see R3 is holding, no, sorry, R3 is holding 3000 and at 3000 we have the value 50 that is being moved to R2. So R2's content is 50. Done. Now add R2 comma R1. So it is kind of similar to our previous example. Add R2 comma R1. So R2 value will become what? 10 plus 50. R1 is holding 10. R2 is holding 50. So it will be 60. So right now R2's value is 60. Then what we are doing? Move R2's content to memory location pointed by R3. R3 is pointing to what? 3000. So this value will become what? 60. Right? Done. Then what we are doing? Increment R3. Exactly similar to previous problem. So R3 is now at 3001. 
then decrement r1 so r1 will become what now 9 then what we are doing decrement r1 we have done then branch on not equal to 0 to an this is not offset this is here they have given absolute address so see the comments are also very very important what is the meaning of the operation they have given so accordingly we need to move so branch not equal to zero what does it mean the result of my previous instruction that is the content of r1 if it is not equal to zero then we need to move to this address directly this is as a address they have given not as a offset so we will be moving to address 1004 due to that we have calculated where is 1004 and i have marked it in red color this is the target of my branch right target of my branch understood now see in the first pass of the loop the value of 3000 has become what 60 and in the next pass what we are going to do just see once r3 is holding what 3001 now so r3's data is given to r2 that is nothing but 50 right with this 50 i'll be adding r1 what is r1 right now 9 so 9 plus 50 will become what 59 that 59 will be stored there so now after this part it will become 59 right then increment r3 r3 will come here in decrement r2 r2 will become 8 so how many times basically i'm doing the loop 10 number of times from where to where 10 to 1 right we have done the loop and in each iteration of the loop the memory location first 3000 is 60 means previous content plus counter the next location value plus counter counter is uh, successive uh, operate successive iteration counter is getting decremented so now 9 is added then it will become 58 then it is 57 56 55 54 53 52 51 done then for 3010 whether the loop will be executed no because 10 times already we have executed and in 10 times from 3000 to 3009 total is 10 10 memory locations contents are updated 60 59 58 57 and so on and probably hope you are getting it also right then after this after that the loop will not be executed and the program will stop so once the program is stopped that time we will see the content of 3010 it is nothing but 50 only so answer will be your 50 you are getting me or not once again i will revise see what we are doing is r1 is initially 10 r2 is holding 50 due to this instruction due to this instruction r2 is holding 50 then r2 is getting the values of the summation right then that is being loaded into memory location 3000 so it was becoming 60 that i have already explained this is done in one pass and r1 will be decremented r2 will be incremented right not r2 is incremented r3 is incremented to point to the next location so r3 is 3001 r1 will become 9 so memory location 3000 then in the next pass in the next pass this part will happen memory location 3001's content will become what 9 plus 50 like this one 9 plus 50 because counter is now 9 previous content is 50 so it is 59 where it will be written to at memory location 3001 so this is done in the second pass of the loop second iteration of the loop so this way will continue running the loop for all the possible values of r1 starting from 10 till 1 right so the previous step this particular step will be repeated for r1 equal to 10 9 8 and 1 because branch not equal to 0 if it is not equal to 0 then only i'll go here but if it is if becomes 0 then we will halt will stop so and and what we are doing in each iteration in each step consecutive memory location starting from 3000 will be set to 60 59 58 and till 51 so that part we have done right so after that we'll halt so hence the value of 3010 will be what 50 because it is not getting modified inside the loop right so the answer to this question will be 50 so see while doing it we need to see the instructions 
and see after doing one iteration you will get the idea that what will be the second pass third pass and all so you need not have to repeat it for 10 number of times and here another point you need to see that you are moving to location 1004 and what is 1004 because of that the starting instructions address was given and this size was given right so you are moving to 1004 right so this is there in this video in the next video also i'll be discussing some more numericals and if you are getting from my videos then please subscribe to my channel and like my videos thank you